proper services to people are not given space or jobs. We, give, we, we elect those who can abuse most. We elect those who can uh, sing to be most, mm -hmm. not those who can come up with good ideas on how to lead our, I mean, to develop our country. We elect, the, the list is endless. Mm -hmm. Against the good people who can deliver and develop our country. Mm -hmm. And that is the problem we have. If you are elected today as a governor or a speaker, and you say, you know what, we got 10 billion for our, 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 our county, mm -hmm. and we are going to spend 99% B, I mean, 99 of the money to develop, tomorrow you will not be in the office. Okay. Why? Because people want to eat that money. Mm -hmm. So we elect uh, uh, crooks, we elect uh, people who are, uh, I mean, uh, corrupt. And if you are not corrupt, you will not be elected. If you don't give people money, they will not elect you. Okay. So that is the society we have. So okay. it's a societal problem. Okay. Now away from this whole Obado <laughs> being released out of, uh, you know, prison. And, uh, of course, it's, uh, let me say, day two, because he was released yesterday. He came out of industrial area prison yesterday after paying what he needed to pay. Now, I'd like us to have another conversation, still on the leadership, but in terms of devolution, the county, gov the, the county assemblies. We've seen a lot of um, disagreements between members of the county assembly and their speakers, and we've also seen that with the county governors. When did the rain start beating us? When we elected people who don't know what a nomination is, they don't know what an MCA does, and they're in office. That's, uh, and this is not my words. She went on radio and she said these words publicly. Okay? So when you elect someone who does not know what job they're doing, then be very, very sure they will do whatever odd thing comes into their mind. That is one. Number two, we elected the greedy. The reason why they're having problems with the speakers and the governors is very simple. Speakers, it's because of trips. It is because of benchmarking. It is because of that. They will color it whichever way. Oh, they don't support our programs or whatever. But at the end, the bottom line is always trips. For governors, it is even worse. There is a county in this country where I'm reliably informed that the MCS told the governor that until you give us one million shillings each, we will not approve your budget. So their fight with governors is very simple. They want to ask the question that Tambo said they keep asking. How much of what you've collected from central government, from parking fees, from wherever, are we going to share? That is what the argument is. Okay. And it is sad because I wish that they were arguing with governors in saying that the development program you have does not work for our county. Okay. That would be better. Okay. But this so, is all about greed. Okay. So, Ms. Wako, mm -hmm. should some of these uh, county governments, rather county assemblies that are experience, uh, experiencing all this unrest, should county governors go the, you know, um, the way of Governor Kivutha Kibwana, who says, let's, all of us, let's just go home. <laughs> then <laughs> everyone changed their minds and they're like, now we need to work. And you've seen what is happening in Kitui. I, I, I don't think so. I think what we need to be concerned about is as much as we have people who are nominated and they do not know what they are doing. And then there's actually a course they go through, right? Mm. They, they go through a class, but they come out as, as ignorant as they walked in. Mm. So we should be concerned about what they are learning in that process and whether they are learning. Because if we start talking the way of Makweni, of let's all just go, then we are concerned about the kind of leadership that we have in this country. Where when people are frustrated and fed up, they're just like, you know what, forget everything. And let's just drop our utensils mm -hmm. and just go. That's not how we build a nation. Mm -hmm. And those are some of the things that MCAs actually, majority of them are young. Many mm -hmm. are young and the turnover is very high. Mm -hmm. So you will have people coming in, being groomed, let's say, and then they are kicked out because mm -hmm. they didn't perform. So you have, again, a new breed of people starting over. Mm -hmm. So we need to also be concerned in terms of, as technocrats, mm -hmm. what can we put in place to see how do we develop people's capacities mm -hmm. to where we grow with them and not necessarily mm -hmm. have to fight and instigate. Because for me, it's very shocking, especially to see people Punching and yes. throwing blows. Yeah, I, and, I, I and, I, and, and I like what uh, <laughs> we have on the screen right now. That is what was happening <laughs> um, uh, mid, not even mid, just a few months ago, like mm. a month ago, you yes. know, members of the County Assembly of Nairobi 
you know, having a feast fight and uh, exchanges. Yes, and when they appeared before the level. disciplinary committee of the county, they're like, that was, I didn't do that. Yes, yeah. You know, you publicly deny, and yet members of the public saw what you did. And they were also not drinking. Mm. <laughs> but why okay. do we accept this? Like something like that, someone would have lost their job. Back at it again. But how can you still continue to be in that position, mm. deny openly, we've all seen the proof, and you're there saying it wasn't me. And Literally. I was, and I was sober. Yes. I was sober on that day and it wasn't me. Okay, honorable <laughs> Mutambo. You know, I enjoy drama in this country. <laughs> because I call it drama. And uh, my, 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 my point would be, do we really need all these counties in our country? Do we need them? Do we need all these MCS? That's the question we need to ask ourselves. For the country to function better, the lesser countries we have, counties we have, the better for ourselves. Mm -hmm. The lesser MPs we have in the parliament, the better for ourselves. Kenyans, if you want more members of parliament, get even 1,000, send them to, par to parliament. You will not get the services mm -hmm. you so desire, but you keep on wasting your money. You want millions or you want 100 counties, please create more. Even in my place where I come from, greater county, you will never get the services you want. Mm -hmm. All what you'll get is wastage. And this is what you are getting. I told Kenyans since 2013, I was the first person to raise a flag and mm -hmm. say we cannot afford this constitution mm -hmm. with 47 counties. Mm -hmm. For God's sake, 47 uh, our excellencies and your excellencies, 47, 48 first ladies in one country, we cannot afford. And if we want to live, to continue living the way we are living, mm -hmm. miserable lives, because Kenyans are living, mi having miserable lives. Let me tell you this. It is the kind of the constitution we have, and unless we hold it and we change it, these things will never so are you calling, And we will are you... keep on electing such a people, those ones you see on the camera. That is the people we'll be electing on a daily basis. But the moment we make it lean, mm -hmm. we'll be able now to pinpoint and say... So are you, calling, charge, are you, are you supporting the call for referendum? For, you know, I don't know why people are talking about the referendum. Let us and address the issue. Let us address the issue of the problem we are facing in the country. Mm -hmm. And this phenomenon of uh, referendum is like what we were being told in 2000, that there will be uh, computers will crash. Okay. Mm -hmm. Things okay. will not go on well. We should do this and that. Okay. Referendum or no referendum, we have a problem and we have to address we it. We have a problem mission. and we have to address it. Yes. And the reason is to why some of these MCs are at loggerheads with their governors and, and, and their speakers. And recently what we saw in Kisumu this week, to an extent of a gun, you know, being used. It was more about alliances. Does it mean that these members of uh, county assembly are not paid enough or they're not given enough alliances such that they need extra money? No, hey, my friend, you know, let me tell you, they, there's a county somewhere in, in Kisiland that the, the average MCA uses, what, 60 pieces of tissue per month, uh, the, that the <laughs> amount of water is 10 liters. And it's, it's, it's incredible what the creature comforts they need. But that is, to, is not about the allowances they need, it's about greed. And part of the greed is because there's something Miles Monroe said, and it really applies to MCAs. Where purpose is not known, abuse is inevitable. These guys have no idea what they're actually supposed to be doing. And because they are idle, they behave the same way young boys behave when they sit outside the barber shop in Buruburu, which is organized for fights and disrupt and cut calls and things like that. And that's Can you all stop the shit do. once again, Mr. Bichachi, that young men in Buruburu, I, I, that is what they do. No, no, I said young men who sit outside, outside. idol. Very key. And, and you, mentioned, you mentioned that. You it's, mentioned. it's across the oh, country. It's like she lives in Buruburu. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because, no, you know, we need, we need to stop the shit, everything that we say here. No, I am we, have our it. we, we all that know area. we all know that there's always a group of young men outside a barber shop in Buruburu, in Akuru, in Joro, mm -hmm. wherever it is. And usually what happens, all they do is cut calls and, and, and have fights and drink. And that's exactly the same kind of behavior that has gotten into our county assemblies. Because they do not have an agenda. Listen, if you are given a salary of three hundred thousand a month and you've got foreign trips and you do not know what you are supposed to do, what else? you do okay so miss so, 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 so i saw you agree with what mr bichachi was saying <laughs>
in terms of <laughs> the see. allowances. Because, yeah, the allowances. It, because it begs the question, the amount you paid, mm. already we have a blotted wage bill. Yeah. And people are fighting for allowances. And that is the same reason as to why even the, the battle Nairobi County Speaker Beatrice Elachi found herself in. Mm. And the, it's the same thing that we've seen in Kisumu County. Issues of allowances and benchmarking and traveling. Yeah, we also witnessed Serasarem like mm. being kicked out, you know, of SRC because of salaries and remuneration. But we also have to think about. I think we should actually reduce the allowances. That way, mm. when people pay get paid less, they will come in for service. Yes. Mm -hmm. They have come in because they know I actually want to do this job to help my community. It's not about the pay. Mm -hmm. When we start increasing allowances, that's where we have these shoddy people coming and applying for this job. Mm -hmm. Because now I know youth, young people are actually interested in politics because it's one of the best paying jobs right now yes. in this country to barely do anything. I mean, they don't write reports, they copy paste things yes. and travel their world. My mm -hmm. friend, why would you not want that and, job? And okay. What yeah. about Mutambo yeah. as we bring this conversation to an end? Uh, uh, I'll still go back to my, to my point that we need to run this country as it is our own country. We are, have to leave a better place for our children. And if we want to do that, we have to reaudit everything and examine what we are doing. Kenyans, we have a problem. We must address it. Mm -hmm. Whether we like it, or not. Short of that, we'll still have this kind of a problem. Imagine a county